Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we have been designing this news ticker using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And in the previous video, I showed you how to add this to our Blogger website. And this is how it looks. Now in this video, I'll show you how to display the latest posts of our Blogger website over here instead of this news. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here I am in the dashboard of my blogger website so let's go over here to theme and let's click on this button and let's click on edit html and let's go to our code so let's scroll down and uh, we had added the code at the end of our theme code so here is our code now we need to make some changes in the javascript so here we can see that we are displaying all these news one by one using the javascript code over here and what we need to do is we need to remove all these uh, news items from here and we need to display the posts of our blogger website over here so i'll just go ahead and uh, comment all of this so just type less than exclamation hyphen hyphen so all this html is now commented you can go ahead and simply delete all of this code all right now let's scroll down to the javascript and here we need to create some variables so the first thing we will do is we'll create a variable for the latest posts. Let's type let latest posts equals and we will create an empty array for now. And then here we have the current active variable and uh, then we have the total news. So I'll just change this to total posts. And here we need to calculate the total posts from this latest posts array. So right now we don't have any items over here. So let's go ahead and uh, cut this from here and we will assign the value later and then we have the duration set to 3000 which is going to be 3 seconds now we need to make some more changes in the javascript but before that let's go ahead and write the script to get all the posts of our blogger website so for that let's scroll down and uh, you need to create a script tag for that so i'll just type script and uh, here in the src we need to add a url so i'll just close the script tag over here now in this src you have to type forward slash feeds forward slash posts forward slash default and then you need to type question mark alt equals json in script and then we need to add some more parameters so let's type ampersand and uh, the next parameter is going to be max results and the max results we will keep it to 5 you can add any number over here so this is basically the number of results that we get so in this case we will have five latest posts first and the last parameter we need to have is a callback function so let's type ampersand callback and we'll name the function get latest posts now since we are writing all of this inside xml code we have to type ampersand amp semicolon and here also we need to type ampersand amp semicolon Right now let's go ahead and create this function get latest posts so let's go over here and uh, we'll create a function over here so i'll just type const get latest posts now we get some data from this callback function so i'll just call the data data you can call this anything you want now first of all let's check whether the data is being fetched so let's create a console.log and here let's type data and let's click on save now what's going to happen is that once all the data is fetched this function called get latest posts is going to be called and here in this function we are just console.logging the data so let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and let's right click over here and go to inspect let's go to the console and uh, if you go over here to object here we can see we have this data we have the feed and if you open the feed we can see we have all this data and if you open this entry here we can see that we have all these posts so for the first post if you open the title here we can see how to make your life easy with ChatGPT. this is the first title over here so in this way we can see that we have five posts first over here now we can go ahead and use this data and uh, display all the posts over here so let's go back to our theme code now instead of console.logging it over here let's store the posts inside latest posts 
So let's tap latest posts equals and we'll tap data and in the data we had feed and in the feed we had the entry and in the entry we had all the posts. So we'll just pass the data feed entry to this latest post. So we'll just assign this uh, array to this latest post array. Right now the next thing we need to do is we need to calculate the number of posts and we need to assign the value to this total posts variable. So what we will do is we'll just create a function called init and here I'll just remove this assignment from here and also from here and we'll assign all these values in this init function. So let's create the init function. So I'll just tap const init and here first of all let's tap current active 0 and duration 3000 and now let's set the total posts. So let's tap total posts equals and we need to set it equal to the number of items inside this latest posts array. So let's tap latest posts dot length. Right now the next thing we need to do is we need to generate all the titles from the posts. So for that we'll create a function and I'll just call the function generate titles. So I'll just call the function over here inside this init function. Right now let's create this generate titles function. So let's tap const generate titles. Now here we need to loop through all the posts. So let's type latest posts and we will use a for each loop for that. And for the single post, I'll just call it P. Now in this, we need to create this uh, anchor tag. So we need to add a class of new single. We need to add the post link as the href and we need to get the post title over here. So let's create this element. So here let's type const and I'll just call it a equals document dot create element and we'll create an anchor tag. So I'll just type a. Now for this anchor tag, we need to have a class called news single. So let's type a dot class list dot add news single. And then we need to set the href to the post link. So let's type a dot href equals now let's go back to our website and uh, here we can see for the post link if we open this uh, array here we have this link and if I open that here the last element has this uh, href and in that we have the post link. So this is basically the post link. So we need to go inside link and the last element and in that we have href. So let's go back and here let's tap P because we are calling it p over here for each of the single posts dot link and we need to get the last element so let's tap p dot link dot length minus one so this will give us the last element and we need to type dot href so this will store the link of the post inside this href now let's go ahead and add the title inside the anchor tag so let's tap a dot inner html equals and let's go back to our website and uh, here we can see for the title we have title and in the title we have this dollar symbol t so let's type p dot title dot dollar symbol t now the next thing we need to do is we need to add this anchor tag inside this uh, news division so let's go ahead and uh, reference this so here let's type const news equals document dot query selector news container news and let's scroll down and uh, here we need to type news dot append child and here we need to add the anchor tag so let's tap a now if you scroll up here we can see that we are referencing the news single all and that we are referencing all the items with the class of news single but here we can see by default we don't have any item with the class of new single. We are generating it using JavaScript. So in the beginning we won't have any new single element. So this will give us an error. So I'll just go ahead and delete all of this. Or I'll just cut this from here. And let's go ahead and change this to a let because we don't have any assigned value over here. Right now let's scroll down. And here in this generate titles function, let's type news single all which is this variable and uh, we're going to paste the code over here 
So now what we will do is we will reference all the new single elements and we will store it inside this new single all variable. Because here we can see that we have generated all the new single elements and we have added it to this news division. Right now the next thing we need to do is we need to set the active class to the first element. So here we can see for the first anchor tag we have this class of active. So let's scroll down and uh, here let's type news single all and uh, for the first element we need to type 0 because arrays start from 0 and let's type dot class list dot add and uh, let's type active right now let's scroll down and let's see whether we need to change anything and I think everything looks all right so let's go ahead and save this and let's go back to our website and uh, let's reverse this page and here we can see we have the first post displayed and the second post is not being displayed so let's go to the console and let's see what error we have so here we have some problem total news is not defined so let's go back and let's scroll down and here we can see we have total news but we have changed the variable name to total posts so let's scroll down and let's change it to total posts now we need to make one more change over here which is that uh, we have to add this inside a function. So right now the set interval will be executed right away. But uh, if we take a look at this function change news, here we can see that we need to access the news single all. But if you scroll up, in the beginning we have not assigned the value. So what we will do is we'll create a function called display posts. So let's type display posts and uh, let's create the function over here. And in that function we will add this set interval so let's type const display posts and let's cut this line of code from here and let's paste it over here and now let's save this and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and I think we have some problem in the code so it is changing too fast so let's go back to our code and uh, here we can see we have this problem in our code we have set it to colon we have to set it to equals so duration equals 3000 right now let's save this once again and now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and here we can see we have the first post and then we have the second post and we have the third post, then we have the fourth post, then the fifth post, and then we go back to the first post. So if we go back over here and if I change this max results to let's try three. And now let's save this. Now let's go back to our website and let's reload this page. And now we have the first post. Then we have the second post and then we have the third post and then we again go to the first post. So this is basically how you can display the latest post in your blogger website as a news ticker. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.